Welcome back, unlawful belligerents, to Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. In the last couple of videos, we've been robbing upon this boat of bell towers, and we've learned that they are transporting a large number of abducted individuals to this location. A black side of theirs, known as Rifleman Bank Station. What they're doing with these people, we haven't the slightest clue yet, but perhaps we'll find out pretty soon, being that this is the final setting of what was the Missing Link DLC. Now, as you'll remember, We've been instructed by our hacker buddy to meet up with a certain person via a floor panel in Loading Bay 1. And if the giant two on the walls in the indicator, this is not Loading Bay 1. So we could prance right in through the front door of Loading Bay 2 right here, if we so chose, right in front of that camera and everything. I mean, it's not too, too terribly hard to avoid that thing, right? But you know what? Let's seek alternative avenues of entry. Let's see if we can't find one. Oh, well, there's one. Uh I can't exactly reach, though. It's just out of there. Thankfully, someone had the th uh, forethought to leave these out for Jensen. Let's go ahead and move it a little closer. Perhaps it was our hacker buddy, or the person we're meeting up with, assuming they're not the same person. And for climbing that ladder, we get 300 experience, along with a beer and an ammunition count upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I don't need it. Your guy knows that Rifleman Bank Station has quite a few secrets, folks. It's jam-packed full of them. It's like a doom level. Secrets behind every rock. Negative. We don't have access via this dock anyway. Top security clearance only. You need to take a leak? You'll have to take the long way around. Oh, you're a goddamn riot. That sounds like another Dock 3 security protocol. I bet no special op assholes have clearance, right? Don't know. Most of them probably don't need to use the washroom like we do anyway. So there you go, folks. And those special ops assholes, we've seen them many times before. They're the ones with the red uh, shoulders. We send them over at, like, Seraph Industries. We send them over at the Picus Building. Also, here's a sniper rifle and some sniper ammo, if that's what you want. Also, a mine template. Alright, so they're going to go into their assigned positions in just a moment. I'm making actually a barrier so I can use this vent more than once. And you'll notice that up in that blue container I got a few things. I got a, well, I saw a reload speed upgrade along with a credit chip, but I also got something else, if you noticed. And you'll notice it's not in our main inventory. No, it's a quest item. A launcher barrel for a rocket launcher. Well, that's interesting. You know, I wish I could slam objects in this whole quest section. My quest pockets more often, but I can't. For some reason, there's regulations against doing that, putting, like, ammo in there or something. And you know, that's where we just were. And there's the giant box guard there that I pointed out earlier in there. Not a big problem. We might as well hack this so it's easier to get through this door later if we need to. Which we may. This is one of those more open levels where you'll be running back and forth. Oh my gosh, it noticed on the first node. Will it get us? I don't think so. There we go. 50 experiences are our reward. Along with a deactivated laser field. There's the box guard. It will not get upset unless you set off an alarm or fire off a gun, if I remember correctly. Now, you may wonder what the hell this is. This is actually a turret. It's currently inactive, but it is a typhoon turret. And you're going to be saying, but wasn't that whole thing like uh, a super cool advancement by Seraph Industries? Yes, it was. But apparently now everybody has it. Open. All right, let's go ahead and pop in here real quick. Because there's a thing I'd like to pick up, along with this box. Up, up. Oh, what we have here? A trigger module for a rocket launcher. Well, that's handy. I mean, if you want to fire off rockets, it looks like all the parts are around for it. Oh boy, and here comes a friend. Let's go and hide. Oh, I, I can't fall. <laughs> There's too many things I can't fall. So we definitely could go the way that's to my back, but you know what? I'd rather go the way where that guy is. Alright, let's go ahead and hop. Civilian contractors must 
you know, just for some funsies. We're gonna turn around. Now he's just gonna look down there. A lot of ways we can get across this room. This is loading bay one, by the way. Drop it. Squeeze on through there. Don't let it fall over. There you go. Good job. You did a good job, Jensen. It'll happen once in a while. And you'll notice all these orange containers, almost every one of them has a breakable wall, like this one has one right, right here. Jump. White. Affirmative. Cargo to sector alpha. Yep, nothing bad's happening. Now there's something to worry about. A turret and a man above it. And a man below it, for that matter. Alright, let's sit tight and wait for our moment. Should be pretty easy to find here. Remember that turrets won't blow away your ghost, uh... Your ghost ass or your smooth operator unless they open fire. Let's wait for this guy to turn around. Just be patient, you know. There are tons of secrets in this room, and we'll get to those in just a moment. Alright, turret, look away. He's gonna look down here. I can probably move without him getting upset. Even though that was a huge amount of time I was out there, right? I think I'm outside of his sight radius. Nothing even noticed. Alright, squeeze over here. And let's go ahead and move you. And you. Sure. Interesting. I shifted myself with the box. That was pretty neat. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Got the guy up top. Nothing really to worry about. Let's just go ahead and squeak in here. And we'll get to our person we need to rendezvous with. That's far enough, Jensen. You. You were behind this? I said, that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. Eh. Uh, can't we just be friends? Why don't you put the gun down? Then maybe we can talk. Not yet. You've played things smart so far, but this is an enclosed room with no witnesses holding you in check. You don't trust me. Why'd you set me free? It wasn't my choice. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to get us both killed before this is over. But if we'd left you in that brig, who'd be around to save your Dr. Reed? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Bell Tower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen, Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters set down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretchers coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. Alright, so funny story here, depending on how you handle Rifleman Bank Station, at least this first portion before you meet Keitner, uh, she'll have different dialogue with you. Since I was smart and didn't actually take out anyone, she's all, well, you've been smart up to this point. If you knock them out, she gets after you for putting those guys into a coma, because these, these are her, her guys, her dudes, protecting this site. So she gets kind of upset for you knocking them out, and I don't know what she says when you kill them, but I would... Suspect that she wouldn't be too happy with you. Anyway, why me, Keitner? Why me, Keitner? That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base... It opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Ha! Huh. See? Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. 
Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. Mm hmm. And this Black Project, do you know any more about than this, just that it's a Black Project? I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this Black Project. I wish I could, but it's been classified. So classified, every BT suit I talk to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only, Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs. Harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp, and they just... disappear. Mm-hmm. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the- Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector, why not others? Because you're a fugitive, Jensen. The less room I give you to maneuver in, the more likely it is you'll stay in one. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? Sure, I got a new bevy of them. I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. All right, well... The guards in the prison complex, are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burke's. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I'll keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Can I get any whoppets? I could use some more hardware. Any chance Corporal Tyler will have access to the armory? You're still a fugitive, Jensen. I suggest you keep a very low profile. Still, there is someone who might be able to supply you. One of the base mechanics, a civilian named Quinn. He runs a nice sideline in procurement. I know the type. Why should I trust him? Because I do, and because he has no love for Burke. He's in the lower level maintenance area near the elevator. He'll get you what you need. I see. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quit. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security port. Just be careful, and try not to draw too much attention. Well, that's the plan. Let's see what you got here. I like cameras already off. Oh, the camera's the turret! <laughs> so I could turn off the turret from here, which certainly would be helpful. Hmm. You know what? I think I will get that. Turt domination. There we go. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about the turret ever again. Whoop. Didn't mean to go into that menu. Got anything else in here? What? What do you need, Jensen? Because this is going to take some time. Okay, I just wanted to see if you had any other options. I figured it didn't. I didn't know if you were going to give me sass for coming back. You kind of did. Alright, so we're done here. I can't tell if anyone's looking my way. It looks like someone is. Yeah, I see him. Alright, so the turret's off. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Could easily take out all these guys and get all the goodies inside the shipping containers. But we'll just keep moving on, try to get some good content. 
You'll notice there's a vent here that's easy way to get to the next area, so we'll go ahead and take it. I think it gets us to the next area. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Someone lost their lunch money. They're going to get something really fancy with that 175 credits. That's like the most money we've seen so far. Oh, no. This doesn't actually take us to the other side. It's just a way you can circumvent this. Okay. Well, I found money, which is always good. There's a dude right above me there. Let's see. Go ahead and take out this guy. Hopefully the guy up top doesn't hear this. He didn't? Good. Let's see. Let's actually pull you into the next room. Detention? What the hell is this? Alright, you stay here. Do you have anything for me? I got more money and painkillers. Always a good thing to have. Especially since I'm hurt. I mean, how... I do have them on six. Let's use all of our painkillers. I got zero left. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We can get that off the bar then. Nothing but weapons and alcohol for me, thanks. Got a camera down there. Cameras are the same way as turrets. As long as they don't turn red, you are absolutely dandy. Oh, yeah, that's the other way you can get in here. You can take the top way. That's right. And I believe there is a secret around here. Like I told you, there's tons of secrets. Secrets? Ah, there's the secret. Also, where is it? It's Bell Tower's favorite magazine, Big Weapons. So that's cool. Those things are lured all over this place. So I think everyone loves them. They must have a regular subscription. Got a candy bar. What's that? A typhoon ammo. Pocket secretary. What have we got in here? A code. I forgot who the heck pointed out, but it seems like all the messages we get are about codes and passwords. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what to tell you with that. Maybe... Maybe Jensen has an augmentation that, fills, uh, uh, that filters out all the, uh, stuff that doesn't matter. Who knows. Anyway, let's go meet up with this, uh, Quinn person that Keitner told us about. Let's see, there it is. Press it. Thank you. See if we can get some awesome weapons and maybe something else. He may have more than just weapons. There we go. We've got an ebook down here. Practical Shoot Us Monthly. We've actually read that one before when we met up with Isaiah's the second time and prevent his suicide. Are you Quinn? Yeah, that's me. Jensen, is it? You weren't followed, were you? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I can believe that. They're having a hell of a time keeping up with you. Uh-huh. So we can rationalize, dismiss, affirm. Yeah, we're gonna affirm it. I intend on keeping it that way. Well, you've certainly ruffled a few feathers higher up. It's not like they don't know you're here. Stowed away on the ship, I mean. It's only a matter of time before they bring the hammer down. Put a stop to your gallivant on the base. I just hope I'm not near you when the iron's hot and you're on the anvil. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases, which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. Time to time, you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it, bartering on the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a savvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What the... You're a fugitive, and I'm risking my neck just talking to you. What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an errand I could use running. 
consider it a special offer of sorts. Interested? Yeah, sure. And as you may have noticed, doing that side quest on the ship earlier, well, that got us cheaper prices at his shop. Let's go ahead and look at his shop. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. Well, I don't think I can break it through the computer, but I'll try it. Let's see, we got some ammo in here. That's cool. No tranks. He does have stun gun darts, which are tempting. He also has beer. Actually, three kinds of beer. Candy bars and energy jars. Laser systems. And a Praxis kit. You know what? I'll take that. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. Always a pleasure, friend. Anyway, I'm not done with you yet. Right. Well, let's see. Tell me more about this special one-time offer. All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier, if you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, well, I might be able to get my fingers on some roll-level arms. I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. I see. So we have three choices here. Sounds risky. Sounds messy. Sounds perfect. I like the sound of this. Fucking right. You like the sound of this? It's the bollocks. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, a little sparrow in my employee managed to lose one through maintenance circulation, but he got himself shit canned before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, no idea really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I can sweep up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I so think I already found some of the components. Are these them? Hey, let me see what you got there. That's the 329's barrel, and it looks like you also managed to find the trigger module. Just one to go, and we're in business. Kind of interested in what he says if you got all three at once, but I'll never know. Anyway, tell me more info. Let's see. Tell me about Quinn. Tell me about yourself, Quinn. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the base's lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Beltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, from a more uh, robust catalogue of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages, and uh, gentlemen's literature. Big weapons. How does this involve weapons? Now, now, let me finish. As an enterpriser fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland. But a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but uh, I've managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick, Burke. In the end, I reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. All right, well, tell me about Rifleman Bank Station. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a Beltar Naval Logistics Headquarters and Supply Point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much, much more. How so? Look. Nothing personal, mate, but I prefer the commander to most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Okay, and what about Commander Keitner? Tell me about the commander. Keitner. Lieutenant Commander, officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's 
the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The Spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a... division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal, there's always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and spooks. I always assumed it came down to ego. But it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his man. And the higher-ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence and a lot of power, and, uh... Well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. I see. Well, thank you. And... Let's look at the shop one last tra one last time. Okay, you'll notice he doesn't have any more Praxis kits. Well, satisfaction guaranteed. Unless of course you fuck it up yourself. Okay, well that's good. You can actually get even more Praxis kits out of him. Let's go ahead and go with this. Good old Casey. It's going to cost us two of our three Praxis points. This is important though. Now here we have Quinn again. Let's go well. talk to him. If it ain't my favorite and currently only customer. Well, that's good. And now we have an option to use our pheromones. So if we use a piece here, we'll get even lower prices than we currently have. Charm has no effect as far as I'm aware, but pressure has an additional effect. Let's go ahead and pressure. Listen, Quinn, I don't know whose side you're on, but I'm having a very bad day. So how about you do us both a favor and cut the crap? Kinder never said anything about paying you. Jesus, and I think I just gave you a bloody discount to begin with. You'll put me out of business at this rate. Hmm. Buy something or bugger off. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I broke it because I bought it? <laughs> Net sell. Let's go to buy. Interesting. Hmm. Satisfaction guaranteed. Very interesting that it did that. Let's go ahead and load. Let's go ahead and load. Uh, it shouldn't do that. We should actually get... More stock. We should get an additional two Praxis kits. I'm not sure why it didn't work there. Let's try it again, again though, because that was some goddamn horseshit. Let's try it again. Go with this. Go with the Casey. I'm going to have those goddamn Praxis kits. Well. All right. Pheromones. Pressure. Listen, Quinn. Jesus. <sighs> why are you such a bastard, hmm? I know this works. <laughs> I know this works. You need to stop being an asshole. <laughs> Maybe it's because I didn't have the Casey before I did this? I'm going to get those goddamn kits if I have to redo this whole fucking recording, though. Okay. Well, let's see what Beta does, since I... I don't remember. Charm, okay. You know, they say I've got a little more luck of the Irish in me than most. So maybe we're like long-lost cousins. Since we're all family here, how about a little extra discount on your shop? Oh, fancy ourselves a little proper shade of green, do we? Like, I haven't heard that one before. Look. Unless you're actually a leprechaun in disguise and pull a pot of gold out of your arse while farting me a rainbow, you ain't getting nothing more than what's already on the table. Eat it. <sighs> well, at least that was something. Cunt. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's see what Appease does, since apparently Omega's has said, hey, I'm not going to work today because Lethal's fucking recording. I've worked every other time, but, you know, today I'm not going to work because of reason. Shut your hole. I wonder if I have to do it at like a certain point. It's obvious you're not a bell tower sympathizer. So if there's anything more you can do to increase my odds of getting off this base alive, I'd appreciate it. Because I like you and uh, because seeing you get your well, there you go. <laughs> put a damper on me day. I'll open a special stock to you. It's normally reserved for another uh, client, but as long as you're paying. Well, there you go. I'm just stupid and forget. What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was the P's option I want, not the Omega. The Omega, I guess, is the one that's supposed to be the additional discount. But anyway, we saw everything, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and buy our Praxis kits, goddammit. I can even afford both of them! I have 40 credits left! Perfect! Well, I was about to get pissed off. But you know what? It worked. And we got some additional dialogue, so it wasn't all that bad. Plus, we have a Casey and three kits again. Now, you'll notice I actually got three kits out of them. If you do the option, the pheromones option, before you buy that first kit, you'll only have the two. So remember to buy the first Praxis kit first. Otherwise, you're only going to get two, okay? Anyway, folks, I think that's a good place to leave it off. Next time, 
We'll go on this little scavenger hunt for uh, Quinn here. I actually do not have a separate quest for it, which is sort of a shame. But we need to find, I believe it's the scope for the rocket launcher. And then he'll actually build us one, which is pretty neat. And then we'll also get on with the main mission. We need to go to the central security hub to actually update our security information, or at least that of Corporal Alan Tyler. Anyway, I'll see you next time.